How strongly do you believe in the resurrection of Jesus Christ? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. To sell fish, a fisherman painted a signboard reading, Fresh fish sold here. A passerby laughed at him. You don't sell stale fish, do you? So why write fresh? Agreeing, the fisherman painted a new signboard with just fish sold here. Once again, another visitor suggested, Obviously, you are selling fish here, not somewhere else. Nodding in agreement, the fisherman went back and returned with a new signboard, fish sold. Now a third character passed by and said, Obviously, your fish is for sale and not for exhibition. So why write sold? Oh, you're right, agreed the owner. I'll just keep the word fish. Right off the word fish, the fourth man appeared and suggested, you can get the smell of fish from a mile away. Today's liturgical readings relate to one's ignorance, knowledge, and understanding, represented in the first and second reading and the gospel reading itself. Peter tells the people that they have crucified the wrong person, Jesus, instead of Barabbas, the criminal. But all is not lost if they repent for their sins and return to God. In the second reading, John reminds us that real knowledge of Jesus is by following his commandments, all centering on love of God and neighbor. In the gospel reading, the disciples only begin to understand what has been foretold in scriptures of Jesus' resurrection when they see Jesus in the flesh. They were in doubt when told by others of what they saw and experienced. Understanding took a while to happen. Like the fisherman who sold fish in our story, no matter how ludicrous the story is, he's like us in so many ways. Social media has bombarded us with so much information that the essence of our Christianity has been diluted by the worldly noise that has become deceivingly pleasant to our ears. We have become gullible to influence peddlers of the materialism, commercialism, and individualism of the world. Many of us now find it difficult to believe in the risen Christ, even as we may believe that there was a prominent man in history who was crucified. The disciples represent a side of us that plays to doubt, fear, worry, and a herd mentality as we face the death and darkness surrounding us in this pandemic. If we just reflect on the resurrection of Jesus, as the source of the unbelievable faith and courage the disciples displayed and the conversion of thousands shortly and millions thereafter, the domino effect of this globally through the centuries will not be lost on us. We will not just know and believe, we will understand. Understanding is not really the crux of the matter. It is living out that faith daily, believing in our hearts that there is salvation of the sin that's trying to destroy the world, that there is hope because we have Jesus. Jesus is showing us how. He appeared to his disciples and greeted them with the word peace. He did not come back to chastise, castigate, and rebuke them for deserting him in his hour of passion and death. His coming to them was a profound experience of forgiveness and a strong commissioning to them to also show compassion to others and preach the good news to all. We too are called to know, understand, and live out Jesus' teachings of love and forgiveness and to become fishers of men. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, open my mind and my heart to believe and understand the resurrection of Jesus, to prod me, to proclaim the gospel by my words and my deeds. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.